Let me start with a question. How many of you here have an identity, something, a belief system, or a set of values that you identify with? I do, and my values tend to be religious and transhumanist. I believe in a teleological end goal for all of humanity, which involves technology. And I also believe that we should have rituals and music and art that support this um, goal. And when I listen, turn on the radio um, in these times and I hear the songs, they go something like, da 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 and when you think about the meaning of these lyrics, the actual meaning of the song is um, international sex tourism and going to different countries and being with different women. And as Americans in our culture today, we're expected to enjoy this music and have our reptilian brains vibrate to this music. And from an intellectual perspective, that just sounds disgusting when you think about the ultimate moral implications of this music. When I listen to Christians sing sometimes in church, I sometimes get jealous. They have songs that perfectly describe the structure of their entire belief systems all in one. For example, there's one song that says, living he loved me, dying he saved me, buried he carried my sins far away, rising he justified freely forever, one day he's rising, oh glorious day. And I'm jealous that there's not the same thing for transhumanism. There's not a simple piece of music or art that can capture the beauty of transhumanism and that we can repeat and enjoy every day. And this sort of anger at you know, culture and the bad state of our artistic world has led me on a journey to eventually go to Florida and join terrorism after having lived in the Bay Area for over 15 years. So intellectually, I first started to, exper uh, to like, ter like transhumanism, sorry, in high school. I explored the ideas on the internet and I really liked them. And it wasn't until about four years later that I actually felt the real need to be in a community with people of the same beliefs. And I couldn't really find a lot of transhumanist organizations. There were a few conferences, maybe once a year, but that was it. There was nothing to go to every day where you could you know, repeat and chant about how great transhumanism were. So my only strategy to practice my beliefs was to go to actual religions such as Christianity and Islam and uh, the Hare Krishnas and go to their temples and pray to their gods but interpret everything to be about mind uploading and ultimate salvation through ancestor simulation. And this worked for a while but I wanted something deeper that really reflected my beliefs. And one day, when I was in Mountain View, I found it when I Googled the word terrorism. I had somehow come up with, found the idea through following a bunch of links through Julio Prisco's site on, um, what do you call it, Turing Church. And when I went to terrorism's website, I was immediately struck by the four principles. Life is purposeful, death is optional, God is technological, and love is essential. So Terrasem was recently featured in Time here, as you can see by the article Rapture of the Nerds by Jessica Roy. So it's become somewhat popular um, on the internet and people are talking about it a lot. And if you go to Terrasem's website, terrasemfaith.net, you'll see a list of the entire truths of Terrasem, which is kind of like their Bible, uh, which details what their exact beliefs are, their rituals, which occur daily, monthly, weekly. In fact, today is one of their monthly rituals. And also their practices, such as their kundalini yoga, as you can see here. When I read about Terrasem on that day in Mountain View, waiting at the Caltrain, I was deeply struck and impressed that this type of organization had already existed that what I had been looking for was here all along. So <clears throat> I made the decision to spend seven months of my life in Florida. I, before I, I got interested in terrorism, I was deeply existentialist because I had trouble finding meaning in life and existentialism 
provided the best answers because it said that we exist without purpose and that we have to find our own purpose. And my interest in transhumanism was somewhat a reflection of that. I didn't believe in ultimate immortality. I just believed in living longer and better because we wanted to create our own goals and ultimately create our own destinies and not have some pre-existing religious teleology imposed upon us. But eventually, as I have told you, I turned around and I eventually became more teolo teleological. And this wasn't a reflection of the change in my belief system, but it was a reflection in the style which, in which I approach my beliefs. I wanted something which was more relevant to my daily life, which inspired me more and brought me more happiness because I could practice my values on a daily basis. I think that Transhumanism should provide answers to existential problems. I mean, it provides answers to existential questions because it presents them as engineering problems. For example, we often philosoph philo philosophize about death, but <clears throat> in transhumanism, we view death as simply the end of a lifespan of an organism. There is no real deeper um, meaning behind, behind death, except that our consciousness stops and we are made of matter and the universe is materialistic and deterministic. In Terrasem, I, <coughs> I had been leading monthly gatherings about our beliefs and they were on Google Hangout and we would gather every day where we would perform music and art, we would read through the truths of Terrasem, we would discuss them, and we would do yoga. And I believe the future of religion is that it is a grand meta-narrative for all of humanity to find meaning in. I believe that religion will become more diversified, people will be creating their own religions like Terrasem, which will inspire other people and different things will work for different people. Some people will like to interpret music their own way and make the lyrics about transhumanism, and other people will want Christian versions of transhumanism, Buddhist versions of transhumanism, and they can form their own subgroups, but different subgroups can also talk to each other and, <clears throat> and meet up. In Christian circles, there's usually small groups. In inner varsity, Christian, uh, the Christian campus community, there are subgroups often based on race, such as uh, African Americans, Asians, and etc. And there's no reason why the same thing can't exist within transhumanism. So, <clears throat> to conclude, I believe that strong AI and mind uploading will provide a future form of salvation, and we can base a culture, a belief system, and a daily ritual practice upon this. I believe that Future religion will incorporate transhumanist themes greatly and that as we approach the singularity, as, as we get better and better AI and better technology, more and more people will turn towards transhumanism as a religious solution. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Lincoln? Well, there is terrasem.org, which has a bunch of terrasem websites, but the best one is terrasemfaith.net. Yes? Could you describe a little further the, um, the, the ritual and ceremony aspect mm -hmm. of transhumanism? Is it, uh, like in many traditional religions, there's something that's required as part of the ceremony? I see. So the uh, second question is, the answer to the second question is, there's nothing required of the adherence to the adherence. Everything in terrorism is optional. All the beliefs are essentially suggestions, such as, you know, make a video if you want to join, and um, do yoga, and, you know, on and on. And, the, and for the beliefs and practices, um, yoga is one of the main practices. We, in terrorism, we do kundalini yoga monthly. Um, there are five of them, one for um, every four hours, except for the 2 a.m. one. 
And there is also reading of the truths of terrorism, uh, discussion of the truths of terrorism, which you can also find online at terrorismfaith.net slash beliefs, and also um, sharing of art and music at every terrorism gathering. And one of them is tonight. Yes. And there are other minor beliefs, but those are the major rituals performed.